everybody, it's Marcy. I thought I had this better than I did. Let's see, does that work? Yep, there we go. Sorry I'm a little late today. Um, oh gosh, what a crazy day, as usual. Oh, let's see if I can turn this down a little, there we go. Okay, so today we're gonna be making something really fun. This is our um, Blondie pizza. Now, it's obviously not a pizza but it's gonna look like a pizza. And I also have used this crust to do a tart, a fruit tart like you get at the grocery stores. You know, with the, you have that really good like cream cheesy um, uh, layer. I've got that perfected, so it's at least as good as the ones at Deerberg's if you're in St. Louis. So what I've done is I went ahead and made the brownie mix because you didn't want to wait for that. And I did it in a nine inch pan. Um, I cut the cooking time way down. I didn't do it in one nine inch pan. I did it in three nine inch pans. So the good thing about this is you can do one and save two for later, um, whatever you wanna do. So what we're gonna do to make a pizza, we've got the crust. I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys down to see this. So, uh oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I'm getting a new tripod tomorrow, supposedly, hopefully. That will take care of some of my issues with this. Okay. Um, that is not working. Let's see how our smoothie mix will work on holding this down. Okay. Okay, there we go. Enough. I don't want to mess with it. Like I said, I got one more day on this one. Okay, so here's our crust. It's a blondie. It's a third of the blondie mix. And then we're going to make the sauce. The sauce, I've got a bunch of different ways you can do it. You can either use, this is Cool Whip, it's like the fat-free Cool Whip or something. And I'm gonna use our truffle fudge hot chocolate mix. You can also use our chai tea a little bit. Um, whatever you like best. I've done it a lot of times with the chai tea. Um, I've actually done it with our mousse some, but you guys have seen the mousse so much, I wanted to change it up a little. Okay, so all you gotta do is mix the Cool Whip in. Uh, mix the uh, hot chocolate <laughs> into the Cool Whip. And, oh, I got a lot. That'll be good to dip strawberries in later. Okay, then we have what you would consider like the tomato sauce. So we've got the sauce. probably enough for three more and then I really wanted blueberries too but they were out of blueberries at the store um, so and for the fruit tart I like set these up so they look really pretty for the pizza I'm not gonna do that because you want it to look more like a pizza than a fruit tart so you know how they sprinkle pepperoni or mushrooms or whatever around on your pizza that's what you need to do this Okay, then we're also gonna, I've got some kiwi. Um, I think I'm gonna cut these down a little bit more. I think they're too big that way. Okay, so sprinkle the pieces of kiwi around a little. And I did one of the fruit tarts where, you know, you wanted it to look really good um, at a kid's cooking class I did once. And I have to tell you, I turned around to help another group I came back, it looked like something you would have gotten at a European bakery. Okay, just wanna make sure that we get plenty of everything. You don't want anyone getting that bad piece of pizza that no one wants, it doesn't have stuff on it. Okay, we've got that. Um, and what's next? Oh, now I'm gonna put on one of my favorite things. I'm gonna dry my hands off. These are our raspberry rounds. They're part of our wine and chocolate pairing set. And you have to see these. They're big, flat things. They're not the same size always because they are literally handmade. But they've got chunks, of, not chunks, lots of um, sprinkled uh, dehydrated raspberries on there. Look at these. Oh, they're so good. Okay. Those around. Ooh, that one has a lot. You know, I always have that piece that like looks the best. That's the one that I'm gonna go for. Okay, so we've got the rounds. 
And then I'm gonna sprinkle some pepitas on, sort of like you would with the cheese or whatever. Um, sprinkle a few of these on. And then the final thing I'm gonna do, I put um, our raspberry balsamic, which you know I love. Do I have a whole bottle of it someplace here? A raspberry balsamic glaze, I told you before, it's great on desserts. It's really good on this. But I wanted to drizzle it. I don't drizzle very well. So I'm just gonna drizzle it around like that. And there you have it, look at that. Doesn't that look so fun? And then, really, I know I have a pizza cutter. Well, I don't see it right now, but I know I do because I just got one from a neighbor who was selling cut though. Okay, but I will use it and just cut it like pizza and what a fun dessert this is. So I think that's, um, I think that's it. Oh yeah, I could use a big cleaver. I probably should because you know how it is with the, um, let's see. You know how it is with uh, when you like do the pizza. I think, Gloria, that's why you're so smart. Okay, so there you go. Just cut it up like that. And I'm gonna save this because I'm doing a party tonight and I was gonna talk to them about our blondie pizza. Darn it, that means I have to wait. Okay, that's it. So fun dessert for at least four. You could probably get a lot more pieces out of it. But um, whatever you wanna do with it, whatever fruit you have, like I said, I wanted blueberries, didn't have it. Uh, if you do it as a fruit tart, like I said, I would have you do it more consistent when you're doing it and calling it a pizza. Throw it on like they do at the place because, you know, then it looks, looks uh-oh, we seem to be falling over again. It looks much more pizza-like. Um, okay, so that's all for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the day I'm doing our easiest thing ever. This is one of my favorite recipes. Uh, don't blink because the live only, well, I'll talk a little, but the live only lasts about a minute. Oh, one other thing. Our year ends tomorrow. If you've ever been putting off buying products from me, don't do it. Do it today or tomorrow. I have a goal I've been uh, reaching for and I've made it every single month. I'm a, gonna, I'm a little short this month, but like I said, I have a party tonight, so I should be okay. But if you've ever wanted to buy anything, now is the time to do it. Go to my Facebook page and check out what the special is today. I've been offering all kinds of special on shipping or free products or whatever. But um, that's it. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.